happening, Digger Nation? First capital digger here, taking a break. Been swinging a little bit this morning, sticking around the home front, backyard. Dug it for now, probably two years off and on. That's where I started at. Started with the uh, Bounty Hunter Gold Digger. I went into congestive heart failure, 2011 fall of 2011 limited to what I can and can't do uh, limited to the length of time I can and can't do whatever it is I can and can't do and a lot of that depends on a day-to-day -day basis how I feel um, extreme cold takes it out of me extreme heat same thing you get wiped out pretty quick um, when I first went into congestive heart failure, the cardiologist said, uh, I need to get exercise, but I, not too much exercise. So, you know, it was fall, it was winter. It took me about three months to get back on my feet uh, once I first started. It's, fr it's a genetic heart condition, and I knew I had it. I just didn't recognize the symptoms. I was non-symptomatic for... A long time I was diagnosed in 98 so you know it's 2011 I went without symptoms and the disease had progressed and uh, I woke up one morning with foggy in my head um, no pain the longer I was awake the less cognitive I became everything was uh, blur and uh, it wasn't my normal symptoms. Um, it, was, it was weird. It took about three hours after I woke up for me to realize that, you know, if I didn't do something, I wouldn't be around much longer. So, um, ended up at a high state in ICU for a while. They uh, put an ICD in, pacemaker put me on some medications and uh, medications kick my ass excuse my language um, they take it out of you no energy none uh, finally got them figured out I'm able to do a little more still can't do what I have to uh, doctors took me completely off work I'm done I have seven more years of my battery in my ICD left um, they wanted they want to get 10 years out of the heart I have best hearts your own heart the only option I have is transplant um, I'll be 48 in August four kids it's it's tough it's hard to deal with but I've accepted it and I'm just trying to find things I can do to keep my mind off of the inevitable the doctors told me to get exercise shortly after about three months after I went into heart failure. They suggested walking, but it was like I said, I went in in September, October, was diagnosed with heart failure. And three months later, they want me to start exercise and now we're in the middle of winter. So we go out and we get a treadmill, bring it home, set it up. Everybody's getting use out of it. I'm slow to get on it. Just light walking. I haven't even been able to make it up down the stairs without losing my breath sitting out here in the garage right now in this 90 degree heat we have and it's taking my breath so um, I get on the treadmill I was on the treadmill just a light walk I was on it for 10 minutes I was back in the ICU for 21 days so no more treadmill no more activity on a treadmill but the doctors continually say get exercise Spring comes around, 2012. I'm bored out of my mind. I've been watching some uh, YouTube videos. Picked up on uh, Deep Digger Dan. That's where I started watching the metal detecting videos. Well, boredom hits. Tired of sitting. Got to get up and move. So I pick up a Bounty Hunter Gold Digger we had got my son a couple years previous. He'd used it once or twice. And he was finding nails with it. And to him, it was boring. So I picked it up, went outside, 
turned it on, had no clue what I was doing, swing, hear a tone, get the shovel. Now, mind you, I was just digging holes, looking for whatever I could find. No pinpointer. My holes were ugly. I'm glad it was my yard. Um, one of the first things I found was a bridal rosette from World War One. big heavy one and then I found a couple USNA World War One buttons US National Army that was prior to the army itself being incorporated as one group so and then I just kept going over two years time I swung over my backyard several times and I keep finding stuff. Front yard, same thing. You know, I think the oldest thing I have is a French barn door key from the 1500s. I started researching my property and there was actually a farm built on my property and the main house spanned what is now three lots. And it was built early 1700s from a map at the Historical Society an artist rendition map um, showed three outbuildings two of the outbuildings were on the property where my house sits one third of the house was on the property where my house sits um, thought that was neat and then I researched it some more through the auditor's office found out that the original farm house and the outbuildings were tore down in 1886 for development properties were being sold off lots were being divided up Chillicothe was starting to grow. My house was built in 1905. Um, first year I dug, I was like I said, I was digging anything and my holes were ugly and they were big. Well, I kept getting a signal and I kept digging down, digging down, taking my time. I ended up about 18, 20 inches down in the dirt chasing a signal. Never did find it. Tons of square nails coming out of the hole but I did find the cobblestone foundation and the corner of the foundation from the original farmhouse 18 to 20 inches down um, I ended up digging what looked to be a trench over a two-day period um, needless to say wives are not happy when husbands do such things especially when there's little ones running around the backyard who can fall in those holes and it just happened to be around their jungle gym I was digging. So, um, filled that back in, let that go, stuck to the shallower targets. And I, I'll put this video with a roundup of uh, my first year finds, or probably a couple of finds from today. Uh, like I said, I've been digging a little bit this morning. I found what I believe to be the front half or the decorative half of a bridal rosette from World War I, the saddle rosette. Um, it's a two-piece, could be a button, no back marks. Can't tell what it is. Um, cleaning it up, I can tell it's World War I, U.S. Army. Um, but no maker's mark. I'm not sure if it's a rosette or a button, two-piece button. So but it looks like there was flanges on the back that are broken off that would fold over and hold it in place on a rosette backing. That's why I'm guessing it's part of a rosette. Um, small piece of silver, looks like it's off a charm bracelet, a connector for a charm or a necklace today. Square nails, um, piece of brass, looks like an old whistle, don't know, have to look, clean it up, get some oil on it, see what I can find more out about it. I'm going to probably go back out in the backyard, dig a little bit more, but we'll just depend. I guess this video is for all you guys out there that, you know, in the hobby, maybe with a disability. It's tough, guys. It's hard for me. I'll be 48 in August. It's hard for me to 
set by idol but at the same time I have to realize I can't do what I used to do it's it's impossible I just can't I want to be here for a while if I push myself too hard um, I'm gonna miss a lot of stuff with my kids my youngest one's 14 and I have four total so I need to be here for a while I don't know kind of off track um, show you a couple things I found first year digging in the backyard kind of dates the home a little bit nice little hinge cleaned it up real nice wasn't too bad wasn't too rusty coming out got it to free up swing around a little bit there's an old workshop foundation off the back of my garage when it was torn down I have no idea um, my garage was built probably 1906 house was built first driveway was poured pre-1910 um, comes back to the garage old school garage sliding doors on the front found this not too far from it it's marked with an R and an M I don't know it's like an auger bit to me but it looks like it's for a hand crank drill doesn't fit any drills I own so but it cleaned up pretty good for being in the ground couldn't imagine using this thing to drill a hole I don't know for all you guys out there with medical ailments that are into the hobby take your time man stay at home stay hydrated follow your doctor's orders all right better lighting this way we're going to do it this way as long as i don't cover up the lens and everything else there's the bearing again what i believe is the bearing or you know it's got a flat spot on top i wonder if that might have been a pulley or something broke off I don't know. Hard to tell. It's pretty chunked up. Oh well, scrap barrel for that one. Workbench roundup, as I call it. That's the bullet. Well, we can't. I got a oil on it now. If anybody knows what caliber that is, let me know. That's an evil one laying by it. Or what era this might have even been from. Let me know. Now, I like that one. Yeah, I know that's World War One. toothpicked it out a little bit put some oil on it trying to see if there's any marks or identifiers on it that's the back now right here looks like a flange has broke off right there Right there also, not near as bad. It just broke off on the inside section. So let me know if you know if this is a button or part of a saddle rosette for World War One. I. I don't care. It's I believe the fifth artifact, relic, whatever you want to call it from World War One that I found in my own backyard. You never know what you're gonna find. Only found one evil one today. Like I said, I was digging everything. These things 
lightweight rocks. Find them along the railroad track. Magnetite, or well, I don't know. Glass, some ceramic, pottery. Uh, you just never know what you're going to find. Another piece of copper. That looks like a ground of some sort. More glass. That's an old blob top bottle. Short neck. One hole. Painted glass. You never know. A piece of worked flint. A little tiny piece. Just a shard. Chip. Somebody worked it. Another little fired musket ball. Here's a little piece I thought was silver. Turns out it's not. It's clasped or something. Showed you this when I dug it. A little hasp. Gate latch. I don't know. It's iron. What else we got? A little piece of iron there. Now this is the one that's got me. I don't know what this is. Let me move it over here. Now it's got three screws on the front part. Got that screw there, it's a flathead. There's one inside the valley, it's a flathead. There's another little one right here, it's a flathead. No marks, no numbers, no letters, no nothing on it. It's got a, I don't know. I thought it was a whistle. Y'all know what that is? Let me know now. If you look down in there, see that little green channel? It's another little tray. And it had. I'm not going to be able to focus with this thing. This piece right here and this piece right here came out of it. Now, they're burnt. It looks like a wick. Like you would light that, stick it in there, tighten it down with that screw inside the valley on that other piece of copper or whatever, that little tray that lays in there. And you would use this wick to light something else. I don't know. Do you guys know what it is? Let me know in the comments. I'm out of here. I gotta go take a break. Clean this up. Wife's working today. It's my day to make dinner. So I'll make something the kids will eat. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. Keep your coil to the soil. Swing it low and slow. And remember, if you're digging history, one beep at a time. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.